Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to change your Substack URL, all right? Well, the first thing that you need to do here is just go ahead and go to your dashboard, which is right here at the top right, all right? And you'll be landed to the same exact page. And what we're going to do next is just go ahead over to these tabs right here, as you can see, and just click on settings. Click on it. Now in here, as you can see, here is our URL. Now what we're going to do to change that is basically go to the left pane, which is right here, and just go ahead over to domain right here. Click on domain. And as you can see here, here's our default URL, which will end at .substack.com. Now, if you want to change this, just go ahead and click on add a custom domain. All right. Click on add right here. And it says here, add a custom domain. So as you can see here, it will charge you. And it says here, this flow will allow you to move your Substack to a domain you already own. Substack charges a one-time fee of 50 bucks to complete this operation. But please note, this does not cover the cost of registering your domain. You'll have to purchase a domain separately. Now you're going to want to put your card number right here, the uh, month, year, and CVC or CVV. Then just go ahead over and submit. All right. You'll just have to wait about 24 hours for your domain to be accepted. And once done right here, your URL will be changed. Now, if you want to change this URL right here, or basically change your publication domain name, just go ahead and scroll down right here at the left pane. And as you can see, there's an option called Danger Zone. Just go to click on it. And as you can see here, you can go ahead and change your publication subdomain, which is right here. This will break all links to your, ex to your existing URL. We will change this. Or you can go ahead and change a subdomain without breaking links. And it says here, you can only do this once, permanently change your publication URL and redirects all links to the new URL. All right, let's go ahead and select which one fits. So for example, I'm just gonna change this one, hit okay. Now, what would you like your new subdomain to be? For example, as sample for, instead of YouTube, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and select to Facebook. All right, and then I'm gonna hit on okay. Now to confirm, just go ahead and retype this sample for Facebook hit OK and done as you can see here our subdomain right here or URL has been changed that's basically how you do it well I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one